General Pipe Cleaner's Gen Ear LE Water Leak Location System quickly and easily pinpoints water leaks in residential and commercial water lines, whether they are under concrete slabs, carpeted rooms, or open fields. It takes patience and practice to master the art of finding hidden water leaks. Watch this video carefully to save time in becoming a water leak location professional. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Gen Ear LE water leak location system. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Gen Ear LE can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Remember these safety rules as you operate the system. Avoid possible damage to your hearing by starting out with the volume control at a low setting. Use the mute button to protect your hearing. Release the mute button when you experience sudden loud noises. Do not press the mute button while the sensor is in motion. Wait until the sensor is in place. Be wary of buried power lines, utilities, and other hazards. Before you dig, contact One Call and any utility companies that do not subscribe to One Call. Have all underground pipes and cables located and marked before digging in the area. First, let's start with the inside line on leaks. Leak sounds are created by three different situations. One, the vibration of the pipe caused by water forced through a crack in the pipe. This is the loudest and easiest leak to detect because it sounds like a whoosh or a hiss. Two, water forced through the crack and hitting the surrounding soil. This leak is quieter and is affected by the type of material around the pipe. If it's rock or gravel, a hammering or thumping sound may be heard. 3. Water flowing through the soil cavity and around the pipe creates a gurgling sound, like a small stream or babbling brook. The Gen Ear LE includes built-in high and low frequency audio filtering to remove extraneous noises of equipment, wind, and traffic. The leak vibration travels down the length of the pipe. Leaks in metal pipes can be detected as much as five times farther away than in PVC pipe. Placing the probe directly on the pipe wall makes it easier to detect leaks at greater distances. And of course, the deeper the pipe, the harder it is to find the leak. To find leaks in lines buried deeper than 8 feet, increase the water pressure to amplify the sound. The surface material also affects the amplification of leak noises. A hard surface, like concrete, will resonate with the sound of a leak for 5 to 10 feet around the water pipe, while grass and earth do not amplify leak noise well. To operate your Gen Ear LE, plug the headphones into the amplifier. To save batteries, the unit will not work unless the headphones are plugged in. Turn the amplifier on by turning the volume knob. The power light will blink when the batteries are low. If needed, replace with two AA alkaline batteries. The Gen Ear LE has a high level of audio output. To avoid possible damage to your hearing, always start with the volume control at a low setting. Then proceed slowly, adjusting higher as needed. Squeeze and hold the mute button to listen to the sound from the sensor. This button protects your ears from sudden loud noises by muting the sound when the button is released. Do not press the mute button while the sound sensor is in motion. But before you can locate a water leak, you've got to know what you're listening for. Here's a tip. Set up the Gen Ear with the probe rod or magnet base. Touch the tip of the probe rod to the faucet, then barely turn on the valve so that the water is dribbling out. This simulates the sound of a leak. 
Turn the faucet on and off until you hear the difference. The rest of leak location is a process of elimination. Assume you've got a leak if the water meter shows water flow, yet all of the valves in the house are closed. Suspect older parts of the system. Check areas with a history of leaks. Examine any recent excavations. Now let's do it for real. To conduct a water leak survey, make direct contact with the probe rod or the magnet base to all sink lines, hot water heater lines, hose bibs, hydrants, and main valves. The spots with the loudest leak sounds will give you a general location of the leak. When you hear the sound of the leak, check water lines running in all directions from that point. The leak location is usually found between the loudest and second loudest survey locations. Now you can begin to narrow your search and isolate the leak. To accurately pinpoint the leak, you must have an accurate location of the pipeline. You can locate the root of the water line by using General's Gen I hotspot transmitter and pipe locator. The transmitter energizes the pipe so the locator can find it. Then as you walk over the area, the locator display will indicate the location, direction, and depth of the pipe. For more information about pipe locating, watch the Gen I Hotspot Transmitter How-To video and read the instruction manual. Now that you know the path of the buried water line, you can pinpoint the source of the leak. Select the sensor to match the surface on which you are locating. Use the ground sensor with the three-pronged metal base to locate through hard surfaces, concrete, and tile. For areas covered by loose soil, grass, or carpeted floors, thread the three one-foot probe rods onto the bottom of the ground sensor. You can also use the probe rods to listen to valves and hydrants. Or you can thread the sensor magnet onto the ground sensor. Walk the line, stopping to place the probe and listen for the leak. Then move a few feet ahead to take your next reading. Follow the path of the water line and note the intensity of the leak sound at each reading. When you detect the sound of the leak, leave the volume control at a constant setting. The volume must remain constant in order to make accurate comparisons. The sound will increase in the headphones as you get closer to the leak. Now that you've narrowed your search area, Pinpoint the leak by moving the sensor over the water line in smaller one-foot increments. Once the leak has been located, mark the spot. You should be within one foot of the leak. If the leak sound isn't loud enough for positive location or outside noise is interfering, use the Sound Amplification Manifold, or SAM. It adds compressed air to the water line, which increases the leak sound. This makes it easier to pinpoint even the quietest leak. Go to a nearby hose bib. If there is a backflow check valve, remove it. Thread the SAM onto the hose bib. Make sure the SAM air valve is closed. Then open the hose bib valve. The gauge will indicate the building's water pressure. Attach an air compressor to the inlet of the SAM. Turn on the air compressor. Adjust the pressure so that it is no more than 10 to 15 PSI above the building's water pressure indicated on the SAM gauge. Do not let the air pressure exceed the water pressure by more than 10 to 15 PSI or toilet float valves, hot water tanks, and faucet valves could be damaged. To be safe, shut off all fixture and water heater valves. Once the compressor pressure is set correctly, open the air valve on the SAM. This will amplify the leak noise during the leak location process. Once you've pinpointed the leak, double check your location by turning off the air valve on the SAM while listening to the marked area. If you're in the right place, the leak sound should dissipate. This assures that you've found the leak 
not some other outside noise. What's next? Practice. Keep practicing and soon you'll be an expert.